I don't know what the program is. How can I answer that? Can you help me with my assignment about topography? Oh sure! Patrick and Army are here anyway. They can help me with your assignment about topography. Is it okay with you guys? Yeah, of course. Why not? Yes, thank you! I'll leave now! Okay, let's do it! We're a thousand miles from comfort We have traveled land and sea But as long as you are with me There's no place I'd rather be Topography is detailed map of the surface features of land. It includes mount the mountains, hills, creeks, and other bumps and lumps of the particular hunks of earth. So to further understand, let's watch the video I have searched on YouTube and give us a wide explanation about topography. What is topography? Topography is the study of a land's surface shape, its hills and mountains, valleys, rivers, and craters. Topographers analyze these features, whether they're on the Earth, the Moon, an asteroid, or on a distant planet. The primary goal of topography is to find out the latitude, the distance north or south of the equator, the longitude, the distance east or west of the prime meridian, and elevation, the distance above sea level of various landforms. Topographers study both the geology and the geography of land's features. These qualities also make up what we call an area's terrain. Many times, topographers use information about the Earth's terrain to create a topographic map. Topographic maps are useful because they're able to show elevation on a flat piece of paper. Elevation is indicated by a line, usually curved, called a contour line. For example, a mountain's peak that has an elevation of 10,000 feet would be represented by a contour line drawn in the shape of all continuous points of the peak that are 10,000 feet above the ground. Contour lines are usually labeled with the elevation they represent and can be used to tell the slope of a landform. Close contour lines mean a steep slope, while contour lines that have more space between them mean a more gentle slope. Topography is used to determine where to safely construct new buildings, to figure out where rivers and streams flow, to help dig mines and to build dams, and to plan and repair roads. You may have even used topography at a local, state, or national park to plan a hike, or to find out where to canoe, fish, and do other outdoor activities. You guys get it? Okay, we're done. Basically, weather is a daily condition of the Earth's atmosphere. Weather is produced by the interaction of several factors. And these are heat, air pressure, winds, and moisture. Let's briefly look at each one of these factors. Heat is transferred from the sun, is absorbed by the earth and spread through the atmosphere. Air temperature varies from place to place because the sun's rays strike the earth from different angles. Air pressure is the measure of the force of the air pressing down on the Earth's surface. Air pressure depends on the density of the air. Denser air exerts more pressure than less dense air. 
air pressure on the Earth can be varied considerably from location to location due to an equal heating of the atmosphere. This air pressure differences cause the movements of the air which we call wind. Finally, the amount of moisture of the air called relative humidity also influences the weather. Moisture in the atmosphere condenses causing clouds to develop and precipitation to fall from the earth. So say